now it's going to be under this one. There we go. Alright. Where are you? Oh yeah, we have to go here. Thank goodness we're not in combat. Yeah. Have seen. Drac is 1,400 years old. That's hard to comprehend. He's not so bad. Sorry. Now they really dig in with the. You don't have the years to understand. Mm. But we really don't. Okay, sure. But Nana doesn't have to be so snotty about it. <laughs> Oh. What did he want? He wanted to know the information about the job. My mother's been pushing it, apparently. She should be. And where the address is. Or what, where it was. I'm like, yes. It is in San Utah. Gave him the address. What the hell? So. We're just doing PVs. We're not doing the um, the other one, the Dara's ransom yet. No, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, that's undoable since the civil war between the collective and the outcast is over. Okay. I mean, we might attempt to do it, but we'll do it off screen. Off screen. I mean, okay. That took that's fine. over 45 minutes, so yeah. that's fine. Yeah, no one else to do with these up. Alright, so there's that. So apparently it's up. Now it's down. What the hell? Alright, this has got to be one of those that's... Yeah, because look at that. It says up and then it says down. I'm just like, what the fuck? All it's right. Weird. I'm going to the marketplace. Maybe it's in there and it's just glitched out right now. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's. Meet PB in Kadara Port to acquire Rune Tech. Okay, so we're meeting people. Oh my god. Yeah, because there's Vetra, but I don't see PB anywhere. Wait, am I crazy? So there's Liam in the bar. Vetra's in the docks. Jack's in the bar. Jaws chilling out in the marketplace. Cora's over here. Because PV. I mean, she's supposed to be right by the dots. There's no. I don't see hide or tail from her. Unless this is something. And I can't jump. Yeah, I can't jump, so... Yeah, it won't let me. I don't understand. Sorry. Maybe you can't jump there? What's oh, going on? Back. 
so bad. Yeah, whatever. It's fucking weird, like... Okay, now it finally fixed itself. Jesus Christ. Alright, I found her. I think, I hope. I had to go all the way up here. Hiya, Ryder. Waiting for that Krogan to show? Just need to buy the Remtech piece off him so I can perfect my remnant scanner. He and his crew keep showing up at sites we're targeting. It can't be coincidence. I think they could be following us somehow. <laughs> that would Just what we need. Parasites. Mm -hmm. When you're doing interesting things, you're bound to attract interest. Ryder, come in. We've got a problem. Go ahead, Callow. We've had an intruder. Got on board and into Peepee's quarters. Her bot is gone. Puck? Oh, man. How the hell did that happen? Not sure. Someone knew what they were doing. They left an impressive piece of rem tech and a recorded message, relaying it now. Ryder, it's Kalinda Terev. Pelisari is... Well, whatever she calls me these days. Please tell her thank you for the nifty bot. I trust the Remtech piece my crew took will be adequate payment. Oh, and no need to wait for my Krogan friend, Kranit. He and his outlaws work for me. Duh. <sighs> Shit. Why can't she just leave me alone? Her ex. That's fun. What do you think of that? I take it you were lovers? Why? Think she's fixated or something? Ugh. To complete my scanner, I need access to the storage device in Pock. Kalinda's always been a troublemaker. Anything for a rise. And if there's a profit in it, all the better. I'm sorry you're catching her crap now, Ryder. You don't have to deal with this. I'll take care of it on my own, I promise. Well, oh. hey, we're in this together. Uh, thanks. When I have a lead on getting Pock back, I'll let you know. <sighs> Bitch stole my bot. Alright, well, there's that. Anything else? Hey, Ryder. Since you made nice with the powers that be here, I'm fielding a lot less animosity from the average outlaw. Indeed. How much animosity are you dishing out? Oh, you know me. If I don't get into scrapes here and there, I get antsy. Indeed. Alright. Yeah, I think Vold is going to be the only one where we can still do like the tasks at hand. Unless we do it off screen, so... We're going to go ahead and bounce out. Okay. Hands off, those are mine. That's it for Peldara, right? I'm not blowing my mind, am I? As far as I know, we only have the three. Alright. So that's on hold. So, on to the Krogan colony. What do you say you? Mm-hmm. And then there will be candy bars and... Cave stuff. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. I kind of figured you don't. You're my special, special. I, I can't help that. Mm -hmm. Hello. Any new emails? Dear customer, to customer four two seven. 
Bootleggers Association of Kildara. We appreciate your previous business and hope you enjoyed our unique power-packed home-brewed spirits. We're constantly improving and experimenting on new blends, so be sure to check back with us. Sincerely, Zed, founder of B-A-O-K, Bootleggers Association of Kildara. No subject. Mm -hmm. From Axul. Human. To hate blindly is as dangerous as to trust blindly. An old Angaran proverb. One of many I have forgotten somewhere along the way. This is not an apology. I do not know if I will ever be able to look upon an alien and not feel hatred. But what I did to Joel is wrong. So I must try. Excellent. So what do you think of that? To hate blindly is dangerous. Just as trusting blindly is kind of dangerous too. But Please not able to ever look upon an alien and not feel hatred but what I did to John was wrong so I mean he's he's owning up to how he feels and he's I mean he's telling the truth but I still don't fully agree with what he says but he's at least owning up to what needs to be wrong it's okay mm -hmm. Necessarily say it's okay, but he's not being a total ass about it. Indeed. Ryder, hey. Kala was right. Nothing missing except Pock. Hate imagining Kalinda tiptoeing around here with nosy eyes and sticky fingers. Is there anything you need? I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to oh, stop. Oh man, repeats all I over again. I flirted with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. stuff so there's the other place there's the Archon or Harper's Nexus it's apparently stuff up the yeah, Havara something over here as well mm -hmm. there's got to be something in space because I don't think there's a planet over here okay, so maybe we should do this and maybe we'll find something maybe Do you like flying through space like this? Mm -hmm. How would you like to look upon that? It would be cool. At first it would be kind of scary, but amazing and awesome and cool. But Kind of like your first plane ride. Mm -hmm. You were scared as shit. <laughs> so scared you read the manual. Hey, didn't yeah. help that they put us right at the emergency exit. And they're like, person who's at the emergency exit really needs to know this shit. <laughs> Just in case something bad was to happen. So I was like, what? Really? I have all this responsibility? <laughs> I found something. Something has been fanged. Look at all that scourge. <coughs> Indeed. Of 
Alright, well we found that. Nothing more to find there. It's no longer blinking. So Havarl, yeah, we already know that's there. Eos. Yeah, we know that there's stuff there. Nexus, there's apparently stuff there. We'll do that later. Bold, obviously stuff there. Joba. There's no planet in Joba. And yet it's still doing that. Alright, we're gonna do that real quick. Off we go into the great beyond. this thing. Whoa, I missed it. Really? No, 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 no. I'm picking up something. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. There, starship wreckage. It's blowing my mind. I hit the wrong area in space. I do like looking at those clouds of gas. I mean, it is pretty to see. Would you feel very insignificant looking upon all that? Narrowing down the list of possible locations. I'm not very significant. No, I mean, how would you literally feel like looking upon that as opposed to like just living here now? It's vast. It's why there's so much out there. I mean, yes, there's still a lot here, but there's a lot more out there than there is here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there's that. So no money, Joba. Jo 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 Joba. Joba. Jo 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 ba. You're a weirdo. <laughs> Why? Because I know exactly what you're thinking. What, Mr. Yoda? I love you. You know that, right? You say so, even though I don't like Star Wars. Hey, you I said the new ones. Done. The other ones, the new, the new ones, ones are not horrible or not too bad. But when it comes to the franchise, I'm just like, meh. Whatever. Uh, I know. We're more Too Trekkies. Overdone. We're more Trekkies. Careful. Word is there's pirates all over this region. You'd think they'd run out of people to steal from. Wow. What do you think about this system? Anomaly detected. The colors all around. I mean, I get a sense of, like, fire. Just... You get... Just the way it looks, it's just like fire and destruction. It's just like warmth and just hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. It would be intense to look upon and see all that. Of course it would. I don't think that's a life bearing planet, do you? What do you think? It looks more like an ice ball. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, looks like there's some kind of storm going on. You see, looks like some kind of electrical storm. Yeah, let's see. All around. So, orbital period is 68.8 years. Its atmospheric pressure is non existent. It has zero atmosphere. <laughs> but its surface temperature is 815 Celsius. Wow, that's hot. Mm -hmm. H315's day is long enough and its atmosphere thin enough that its temperature can plump that its temperature can plummet at night at other extremes it should be considered 
hazardous. So it's really cold on its dark side and really hot on its hot side. <laughs> what do you think of that? Hot and cold? Uh-huh. Alrighty then. With somehow a big hurricane. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it looks like some kind of big electrical storm going on around it. Cause you see, it looks like I'm picking up something. Electrical crap going on. Yeah, for reals. All right, what do we got? Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Sweet. Mineral deposits are good. Mineral deposits are life. Mineral deposits are happy. Too dark. Would you have me any other way? No. Why is that? Because that is not the Graphite. We can make more pencils. Yes. Draw more. <laughs> I love you. Why? Because you're sweet. Why? Because you're cute. Why? Because you're happy. Why? I don't know. That's one for you to answer. Why do you say I'm happy? Because you're happy. You're smiling. Oh look, it's not even yellow. It's not even a yellow star. It's a blue it's a blue dwarf. What do you think of that? It's looking at some that would be blue instead of yellow. Different. Why is that? <laughs> Very different. This one might be life supporting. What do you hey. think? Alright, before I scan, do you think it's habitable or not? I think kind of looking at it, I mean, the light side looks like there's some kind of um, green to it, like stuff can grow, stuff can be there, and there's water around it looks like, so I would say possibly, yeah. Alright, let's see. Nope, sees nickel and cobalt surface defies the planet's intense heat to remain solid. Trace readings of the element zero present but difficult to pinpoint so let's see it's atmospheric pressure 15.63 atmospheres and the surface temperature 1114 celsius so it doesn't sound like anything here on it it's mostly made of metal apparently i was looking, wrong too i was wrong too it, it looks like it could <laughs> yeah i was wrong too i thought it would certainly be like at least like some sort of plant or cellular growth. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there's some sort of mineral deposits. Oop, I. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. A crevasse! This narrow canyon is startlingly deep. A river of magma, magma rich. Magma rich and with minerals. This is bad grammar. That was bad grammar, is what that was. <laughs> Runs at the base. An alien technology, possibly old and garn facilities, lines the walls. This must be the source of the planet's element zero. Yay, we found element zero. <laughs> so apparently, once upon a time, this may have supported life, mm -hmm. but its vault probably went offline and it turned into that. What do you think of that? I mean, it'd be cool if it was, definitely for sure, but still, it's a little sad. Not habitable. Indeed. Alright, so what's next? Grow Gorda. This plant looks all sorts of non habitable. Uh, Anomaly yeah. of sensors. So let's see. Low period 8.2, atmospheric pressure only 0.15 atmospheres, and surface temperatures 1900 Celsius. Yeah, I don't think so. The radiation of Zabre's sun keeps much of. Gorgona molten at times, oceans of magma 
all but the fiercest attempts of exploration. Yeah, I don't think so. What do you think? Uh, yeah, no thank you. <laughs> Some sort of mineral deposit. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Copper. Now we can have pennies. Think about all those pennies. What do you think of all them pennies? Alright. Pennies are good. And now... If you get plenty of them, anyways. Yep. Let's go to the Krogan Colony. Do you approve? Minnie, you're obsessed. You want her, don't you? <laughs> it would make it easier, because I we both know if we get another Yorkie and we were to get it the way my parents got it. So well kinda sorta. Mm -hmm. It was just a breeder that my aunt knew that actually she got from them because she was friends. Mm -hmm. But if we were to go with the breeder, we're gonna have to pay a lot of money. Oh yeah. Finding one within a shelter that's adoptable is not as expensive, that's mm -hmm. for sure. But we just don't have the money right now, sadly. Yeah. And more than likely, she won't be there by the time we can afford to. I know. Oh, what do you think of this thing? I don't even know if it's a planet or if it's just a giant moon of a gas giant, because it looks like it's orbiting a gas giant of some sort. What do you think of yourself? looks kind of cool. It looks like color-wise and stuff, I mean, it's not necessarily a shiny or anything, but it kind of has the look of like a tiger eye marble. Oh, yeah. A little bit. It looks kind of cool. It looks more sandy from this view. Yeah. I imagine, like, not for humans, but Krogan can definitely make it on there being reptilian. Indeed. Let's take a look. Indeed. So, open up here. For, 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 for you. <laughs> it's atmospheric pressure. 0.89 atmosphere, so it's a little bit lighter. Cool beans. Oh, he's doing the naked molar out now. Indeed. No <laughs> better. Indeed. So let's see, a moistureless, sweltering landscape covered by a large number of cover substance sinkholes. Though it still supports life to a limited degree, the fledgling Krogan colony of New Tuchanka is here, along with what appear to be abandoned mining facilities, scattered outposts, and camps. So its atmospheric pressure is point not eight nine so it's 
close, but still a little bit thinner than our atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It'd be like the, essentially, if we were to, like, at sea level, be at the top of Mount Olympus there. Mm -hmm. Or not, something like that. Not the original Mount Olympus, or are you talking about our mountain that you consider Mount Olympus? You kind of gesture. It is not. I know it's considered, but not the the one we're talking. Not about. the one in Greece. Yes. <laughs> Surface temperature fifty two Celsius to ninety nine Celsius. So it's it's hot. For humans, it would be unbearably hot, but for reptiles, that'd probably be pretty pretty nice. Mm. It just has no water. Let's go. And we have four quests to do there. I'm sure we're gonna have more. Do you? More than likely, yes. Good now. Like I said, I mean, we may know it as Mount Olympus here, but not everybody in the world is going to know that. You hear Mount Olympus, the first thing I think of is ancient Greek and Greece and that. So. Indeed. That's why I was just saying, not what, exactly what you're thinking. <laughs> it's what I was thinking. <laughs> I know. I think we'll take Drac with us and weigh him. Saves at Calo the nav point provided by a probe and contact. Drac, we're landing on Elodin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. That does have a blue atmosphere. Mm -hmm. At one point, probably it's vault. There probably is a vault here. It probably was working. It probably was habitable considering there's been mining facilities on it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. Oh look, how would you like to look in the sky and see that? Pain? Uh-huh. Annoying. Starship. It's making me feel no. sick to my stomach. Only 41% exposed. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. That's interesting. Some sort of remnant starship. Oh. Crazy. Indeed. Not having a period, are you? No. Okay. Not that. I think food is not agreeing with me this time. I'm sorry. It's okay. Who lives here besides the Krogan? You're gonna have to go again. Just a minute, I'll be right back again. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. Indeed. Yep, we're do gonna do an outpost in Laden. Holy. For science, memory trigger, memory trigger, memory trigger. Exile raid, Tarian arc, hitting rocks for science, and the exile raid, hitting rocks for science. Okay, hot. It's hot. It's really hot.
spawning. Think you're tough? Nari's got a hold of those creepy alien pillars. Yeah, pulled the whole thing apart. Wish I got in on that deal. Next time I'll claim one for myself. Did I hear you talking about the remnant? Dunno. You and Eve's dropping snake. Been breaking it down to sell. Could make a killing from the pieces. Uh, Ryder? You should check that out. Push off. Push off. Hmm. I'll kill each one of you. See if I won't. Short. We can all do that. Oh, I'm not long for this life. I came to this galaxy to die on a new frontier. I'm happy to impart my last bit of wisdom. Hmm. I would be honored. Knowledge is power, Pathfinder. We brought the best of what the Milky Way could offer. You have the means to make all this better. So use your resources to study and decipher what's here. Grow from it. Build more efficient, powerful tools. Build the future. That is all. Search and apply an augmentation to gear. Alright, well that's pretty easy. There we go. Activating automated forward station deployment. I detect above normal temperatures. Oh yeah, he has it. Mine zones in this region are available, mm -hmm. Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. It's currently at two percent viability. Range, <laughs> so would you want to live in a place like this? Mm. Still looks like it would be too hot. Do you want to visit a place like this? Mm, I wouldn't mind visiting. It'd be interesting to see. I think it would be too hot for me. Park's waiting for Heard us at Ward's greenhouse. We'll have more on info on where the transport was taken. Got it. All right, and a whole crap ton of people to talk to. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support is stable. Alright, what do we got here? That's a fancy ship, alright? Uh, the sand gets in everything. Indeed. Raise the water prices again. Swear I'll kill her. Ow. Not doing nothing. It's hot out there. Almost croaked out there. It's hot out there, good. too. Hot enough out there. I don't want to deal with this heat that's going on here in this game, that's for sure. Too much, huh? Way too much. Oh, Even wow. To get to that mineral deposit, I have to literally do jumping. <laughs> Is it worth it? Is it? No. <laughs> Would you find it worth it? No, I'm going to. If you die, you just come back. I guess that's technically true. What are you looking at? 
you raise the water prices again. I swear I'll kill her. Boy. Get out of my face. I swear I'll kill you. I'll kill you first. I'll kill each one of you. See if I can kill you. Hey, I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. Didn't know your duties reached all the way to Elodin. It doesn't. I'm here for... personal reasons. My sister Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the Rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus, but we can start over on Kadara. Together. Hmm. You're a good brother, Kent. Don't congratulate me yet. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. I'm stuck before I've even started. What do you think of all that? It's, it's sucky to be stuck there just before he's even started, but sounds like he cares. Mm -hmm. He just wants to start over again. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. Maybe. Indeed. First, we're gonna wander around some. Is there some kind of underground pumping facility? Where's the water coming from? Who knows? What are you looking at? Interesting rocks. Oh no, they're fungi. What do you think of that? The blue. Yeah, mushrooms like that. The pen is blue. So what is your honest opinion about this colony so far? I mean, it still looks cool. Again, I like the trees. And kind of got the... Rugged, like desert look. The mountain formations are kind of cool. So I mean, it'd be cool to see at least. Think you're tough? Wait till they meet me on the dunes. Should be a whole crap ton of people to talk to. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a lot of pipes. Looks like some kind of water storage. What are you looking at? Um, what? Nothing. Really? Because it looks like you're looking at me. I don't like it. Do you? Do you like it? Ah, that's I'll look what where I want. Yeah, maybe I'll shoot whoever I want. I thought the rule was no guns. That won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder. Is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. Wall. Ryder, I heard that little exchange. I don't understand it. <sighs> they screened every initiative applicant. How did so many of them end up violent and unstable? 
You think something's up? That's what I want to find out. Can you scan the scavengers here in the Paradise and transmit the data to me? And... Wow. Be careful around that one, Ryder. Fascinating. Huh. What do you think of that? People were supposed to be carefully scanned and vetted. Turning out like that. It's not good. Trucks? Maybe. You who I think you are. Scott Ryder, Pathfinder for the initiative. You asked me to meet you here? Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Everyone's best chance for survival is to cooperate. That includes the Krogan. Good. Nice to know some people are on our side. So, what's up at the colony? It's heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus. That much we know. What do you think of that? Oh, no strikes! Hmm. suspicious. Huh. I'll remember that. Uh, I'm going to see what this does. The audio logs you sent do sound like something bad is brewing. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Krogan dying? That's a stretch. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. What do you think? For me, I mean, making peace with the Nexus, I can't see how it would be necessarily a bad thing myself. No. We need the Krogan, and the Krogan need us. We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morda ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planning. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. <laughs> What's your opinion of all that? I think it seems like they are willing to want to get help, but they're also that's the word I was trying to think. Cautious and they wanna just kind of go with what they feel like is best. But they're willing to try, but if it doesn't work out then Whatever they they will have no choice but to figure something else out. And what do you think of the current ruler from what you've heard? Doesn't sound very great. Why is that? Why is that? To me, it just sounds like they want all the power. They just they don't care about anybody else in the colony. They just want to strike against other. Aliens in the Nexus. So just... Good old days with Krogan. 